Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to actually create test question for reading comprehension. So first what you need to do is you go to add activity or resource, find for quiz. Okay, this is quiz. You add and then you name this as reading test. And then as for the description, it's up to you. If you want to have your description, make sure you click this. Click this box here. If no, then just can ignore this. Timing. Okay, now you need to enable this. Let's say I want to have this test on the, 7th, the 18th. Okay, so I want to close this on the 18th. But I want to start at 8. I want to give them the whole day to do it. So let's say I want to end it. This is 24 hours. So... I start at 8, 8 o'clock and I'm going to end at 20, at 8 at night, okay, 20 hundred. So, time limit, I'm going to put this as 1 hour, <clears throat> okay, this means, what here, it means that if the student is unable to um, attempt or answer the question, what would happen? So, I would normally give them a grace period. So, a grace period of, let's say, 30 minutes for them. It ups, it's up to you, okay? How many minutes you want to give a grace period? Okay, now let's look at grade. So, here, grade to pass maximum grade is 10. So, just put 10. And then, um, how many attempts you want them to actually have? So, normally... You can actually give them two or you can give them unlimited. So, I would choose two attempt, but I am going to choose the highest grade out of these two attempt. So, now, layout question. Okay, so how do you want the page to be? So, for me, I want for each page, there's 10 question. Okay, later I'll show you what this means. And then, question behavior, it is shuffled. So, that's it. We save and then we return to the cost. Okay, now that you have this reading test here, we're going to add the question. Okay, so click on the reading test and then edit quiz. So what you need to do is first, for the very first time, add new question. Go to other because we're going to add the article first. That's a reading comprehension article. So you can name this as article one and then for the question text you can have the instruction first i have the question here so i'm going to just copy this instruction copy and then i'm going to paste it here so i have the instruction ready now i'm going to paste the article so this is my article i'm going to copy the whole thing the article only okay so we have the article we paste it here and then just edit the article so that it's not just too far. The paragraphing and whatnot. Okay, now that everything is fine, now what you do is you just save change. Okay. Now that we have the article ready, we are going to add the question. So. We are going to use multiple choice question. So, I want to use multiple choice. So, I'm going to go for multiple choice. This is question number one. Okay, wait, let me see. Okay, here, question number one. And then your question tag would be, I have my question ready here. So, I'm just going to copy this question. Copy. Then, I'm just going to paste it here. Okay, so this is question number one. One. Okay, now, for my, uh, okay, number of choices here. You see, it, the choices are shuffled so that all your students will not get the same choice. One or multiple answer, there's only one answer. Number of choices, I would prefer ABCD this way. If you see the drop-down list, there's many different type of numbering. So, I would choose this. So, my first choice answer is, okay, let's see, this. So, I'm just going to copy this. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay. Next, I am going to put in the second choice, which is for the for more than century. Copy and then paste it here. I have the third choice. 
which is for less than a century copy and paste it here and my final choice is only since the beginning of century okay now you need to know what is the correct answer because this is important so the answer is this so you would have to put this as 100 and that's it you save change okay now that we have saved change so i'm going to add another question so this for this question you can add the marks for me i'm going to put this as one mark so depending if it's two marks for one question then you can have this as two marks okay so we add another question which is also a multiple choice question add and then this is question number two okay and then you have the second question here so i'm going to copy this and i am going to paste it here and then for my choice i am going to place copy and paste my choices so choice a is here and then choice b is this so i'm going to copy this and paste it here so if you have the question ready it's easier for you to just copy and paste so that is what i'm doing now i have the question ready so i just copy and paste and then my final i have four choices so i'm going to put the fourth choice here so now that i have my fourth choice so I have to make sure that I've actually assigned the right question, the right answer. So the answer would be this choice number three. So this would be hundred. So done, save, and then you, then you will see the question is saved here. Now, if you have ten question, you will list down all ten questions. So now let's look at how would this question look like. Okay, so we preview the question. So this is how your student will get the question so now you would start a time so you will start a time so they could have the instruction here the passage is here and then they have the question so remember in the beginning our setting we actually set 10 questions so the first page would be 10 questions so there'll be listed 10 question and then they'll go next for the second passage and so on so if you want to do for the second passage, similarly, you do the same thing. You go back. So let's finish this attempt. Let's say you want to actually um, okay, let's see. Submit all and finish. Okay, now I would go back to the reading test. Okay, now Oops, let's see. Edit quiz. Okay, now, now we have the question here. So, let's say you want to add a second article. Similarly, you go back, new question, go here, add description, add the question for the second article. So, you can name this as article, article 2. And then you have the question tags here. So, let's see. So, here I have 10 questions and then I have the second article. So, I can I can actually have this, copy this, the whole thing. Copy. And then I can just paste it here. So, I have, remember to edit this because of the spacing and whatnot. And then you save change. Then you have your second article here. And then same thing, you add the question. Add a new question, multiple choice question. And do, and then we will do the same thing. 
So we would have, this is question, let's say this is question 11. So we'll have 11 here. And then you have the question text. So my question 11 is this. So I'll just copy this and paste it here. And then I'll have the choices here. Okay, so, okay, sorry. Okay, so I will copy this and have it here. Copy this. Have it here. Choice three. Is this and then choice four is this? So now I have the choices. So I will have this as the right answer, and then I'll save changes. So you have the question here. So when you preview the question, you'll see the student will go for the second page. Let's preview. Start at time again. So you can see you have the question. And then if this is time page, the second page would be the second question. You see? So this is how it would be. This is how you, you create reading question. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you.